Hi everyone, so this is my second hospital bag video for my second baby. Um, I've actually done a video before um, for what's in my hospital bag and last time I had two bags, one for myself and one for my baby but this time I've just got one bag that I'm going to be taking with everything in for the pair of us. So first off I'll start with telling you that I'm actually almost 29 weeks pregnant so things could be taken out, added in later on um, in this bag so I'm not going to 100% take everything that I've got here but this is just sort of a rough idea to show you what I've got in so far to give you any ideas and if you have any tips, um, ideas for what I've forgotten or what I'm what I still might need um, if you could message or comment below that would be great so first off I'm going to start with showing you the bag um, and this is the bag here this is sort of like a hold all bag um, and I got this from eBay and I think it came from China and it says pink on it it's kind of like a Victoria's Secret one um, which I think it's not official but it's quite a good size um, didn't want anything too big so that's the bag there that I'm going to be putting everything in so I'll start off with the bodysuit so this is um, the, the bodysuits here now I'm not going to be taking all of these but I just wanted to show you what I've got this is a first size one and I got this one from, from Asda and it's um, the Jungle Book and I just thought it was really cute um, then I've got a Mickey Mouse one um, Donald Duck another sort of Mickey Mouse one then I have these yellow ones which are really soft and these are from Max and Spencer's and these were actually um, for used for my first child Ralph so we use these for him and these are up to one month size so these are a couple of different sizes because you're not really sure um, what size the baby is going to be when um, they come out because there's no way to tell until they've actually born so those are some body suits there I might not take every single one but that's just to give you a rough idea okay moving on um, these are the sleep suits these ones I got from mother care and this is the toy box um, collection of three for £16 and I really love um, yellow so there's a yellow stripe one there um, and then like just a normal yellow one with um, an elephant on and these are unisex and these actually have the integrated mittens so you can fold it over and that will make a mitten so you don't have to put the mittens on separately um, and they have the feet um, in there as well so they're really nice then I've got um, Mickey Mouse one but that doesn't have any um, mitten or feet um, another Disney one and then these ones were some um, first size and up to one month size from my first child um, and they have the mittens in as well so just a couple more um, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to 100% be taking yet but I do really like the yellow ones so definitely going to be taking the new ones okay what else do I have moving on I have um, some nappy bags fragranced and these were really cheap um, from Boots they were like less than a pound I have some Sudocrem Care and Prote Protect this is the nappy rash um, barrier cream so this is to prevent the nappy rash when you change the baby so I found that this was really good before we didn't have any problems with Ralph when we used this um, I've got some mittens here and these are some scratch mittens um, to prevent the baby from scratching his face and these are from Boots um, the Mini Club and I read a lot online because I've used scratch mittens before and they always fall off but I read that these ones were the best ones to get that don't do that so I'm going to try and see um, if he's going to wear the Disney ones um, he will probably need to use these 
so if we get that if we use them then we'll see how they go um not sure i'm going to be taking this but these are some um pacifiers dummies um and these are the mam i'm just trying to focus there we go these are the mam nature ones and we used these with my first son ralph um he didn't really like dummies so he didn't really use them very long but i just thought i'd get a new pack um just in case because all babies are different um these are some little hats um to keep the baby's head warm he's going to be a summer baby in august but you don't know what it's going to be like in the hospital or what it's going to be like especially with the british weather so that's just a little one with ears from previous and got two new ones there they're from boots and then just some smaller ones as well so they're quite small and handy to put in um to the bag then um i've got some plain toweling bibs there um for when he's feeding and then i have some nursing pads which i got from the emma's diary pack there um i have another full pack of those but because your milk doesn't come in for a few days i'm not sure whether i'm going to need those so i'm just taking the small pack that i got for free in my emma's diary pack then i have some newborn um pampers nappies um which i also got in my emma's diary back pack and you get 22 in there so that's quite a nice size and it fits handy in the bag as well um water wipes which are over there water wipes we use with my first child and we still use them now and they're just amazing because when you're in the hospital the last thing that you want to do is get cotton warm and water it's messy it's not practical and it's going to be difficult to get a bowl of water and cotton wool in a hospital a busy ward um so these are really good because they're 99 percent water um and they're a little bit pricey but we use them with ralph and they're definitely the best baby wipes to get very very gentle um moving on i'll come back this way um i have there some swaddles these are swaddles and muslin cloths together um, and these are the Lion King ones by Aidan and Annie. So I've got two of those that I'm going to be taking. Um, not sure if I'm going to be taking this one, but that's a caesarean belt which protects, supports and soothes your scar. I've never tried this before, but I've read a lot of reviews on it. I had a bad time with my C-section scar last time. It was always getting infected. It took a long time to heal. So I'm hoping that this will help me um, to recover faster. Um, I've got some nasal drops and Infocol. I'm probably not going to take those, but these are just newborn essentials that I've got here. Um, and I got these last time because I'd watched a video by um, Isis, who is a member of Channel Mum. And she recommended getting these for newborn essentials. And I definitely recommend them as well because we did use them in the first couple of weeks of having a newborn. And it's just nice and handy to have them in the cupboard there for when you need them rather than having to go out and find them in the supermarket or on the chemist because we live in quite a small area and they don't always have what you want and what you need so yeah that's definitely a good thing to get okay moving over to here again i have some disposable um underwear for myself which i used last time which came really handy because you bleed a lot after you've had a baby um, and those are some just some um, c-section underwears I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them um, straight away but I did use them last time and um, you can get those from Boots and you can get them from John Lewis if you're in the UK I'm sure you can get different kinds in other countries as well but they're really good because they kind of keep keep um, your scar sort of as it's weird it, it's kind of like there's a gap between the cloth and the scar so it doesn't they don't sit on your scar um which is really good because you don't want anything sitting on there um after you've had a c-section 
um, maternity pads which are always something that you're going to need when you've had baby cesarean or not because you do bleed a lot I've got two nighties there and two of them are breastfeeding nighties so they've got this one has a hole sort of like a gap in the side where you can kind of um, breastfeed from the side and the other one has a zip um, so they're good and then I've got another nighty in there which you can't see but it's a comfortable one and it's a rosy it's from the rosy collection from M&S and it's just really comfortable and soft and stretchy and then I have just a dress there um, and that will probably be what I wear when I come home because I want something quite loose um, and quite big um, away from my um, scar so so yeah, so that's what I've got so far for my hospital bag, for myself and my baby. Um, if you think I've missed anything or if you think there's anything that I don't need to take um, or if you could recommend anything else, if you could please comment below or send me a message, um, that would be great. Um, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!